Hey guys, you're watching Python tutorial videos on my YouTube channel Python for Microscopists. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about estimating image quality without using any reference images. In the previous video, I talked about using a reference to quantify certain metrics like peak signal to noise ratio or mean squared error uh, between the two images that you have. Now here we are talking about not using any reference. Okay, how do we do that? By quantifying sharpness. And I'm going to talk about uh, how we do that in a second, but uh, I've already covered a topic called no reference image quality assessment using a technique called BRISQ, B-R-I-S-Q-U-E. Go ahead and try that in addition to the one I'm gonna show you to see which one works great for your images. There is no single magic formula that works on all the images. That's why I'm trying to cover as much as I can based on the papers that got published out there preferably with code that's already out there so we don't have to do a bunch of uh, algorithmic coding okay so for us coding is just a means you know a tool to extract certain information out of our images so we are not uh, developers or uh, working on research uh, trying to come up with new methods to do things okay that's not the purpose of these tutorials anyway Okay, so in the last tutorial, we looked at how, again, uh, scikit image, certain things like uh, a mean squared error and peak to signal noise can be used. But in this tutorial, I'm gonna base everything out of the work that others did. And uh, here is, uh, uh, here is uh, uh, the paper, the original paper that this code is based out of. Uh, so in this paper, uh, these authors talk about estimating sharpness their focus was on document and scene images, but apparently it works uh, well on all types of images. And what is the method? It boils down to, if you're looking for one single sentence that summarizes the approach, it's difference of differences in grayscale, okay? The difference of differences, okay? It's the second difference in grayscale of the values of a median filtered image. So obviously the image gets filtered, uh, median filtered, and then they are looking at the difference of differences. There's a lot more to this. Uh, go ahead and read this. I'll leave the link to this pay, uh, document uh, as part of my description of this video. But the good thing is they actually uh, uh, compared their algorithm against others. And I should say it worked great on mine and it is actually much faster than the other techniques I tried, uh, other referenceless techniques that I tried and, uh, uh, and and again, uh, just for the sake of completeness, the way you actually uh, uh, do this is again by a couple of ways. One, you can actually go ahead and pip3 or pip install. Uh, if you have Python 3, if you have pip3, you can do that. Pip install this entire line. And again, I'm gonna leave all the links as part of the description, but uh, it's based on this uh, GitHub repository, okay? They again uh, uh, explained the things uh, or summarized the things down here, but uh, the pip part is coming from here, okay? And what it does is basically copies everything that you see here into your local uh, you know, uh, directory so you can easily do things. If you, if you want, you can just go into DOM folder and then just copy this file, right? dom.py that has everything in it. It's only using primarily three standard libraries that you probably already have. Let me zoom in so you can see this a little better. So these three libraries, you probably already have it. And then under the class dom, they have a whole bunch of functions, right? I mean, loading the, uh, whatever the file here, for example, and a whole bunch of other functions. And what it comes down to is going down all the way. You can see it's actually, uh, we are calling a function called get sharpness. This is exactly what we would do in the code. Don't be intimidated by all the code if you're new to coding. Once you see how we use it, things would be much more uh, acceptable, I should say. Okay, and it returns the score, that's it. Okay, so we are going to call the function called get sharpness where we provide the input image, that's it. Everything else, it's it's there. If you want, you can change these, okay? The edge threshold values and others. So now let's get into the code. And once you pip install this, I'm going to go ahead and import DOM from DOM, right? Why uppercase DOM from DOM? That's because the class that we are going to import here, where is it? Um, the class that we're going to here import here is uppercase DOM, right? So from this library, I'm going to import this class called DOM. From within this class DOM, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to extract or uh, create, like initialize this DOM, 
and then calculate the scores by just getting sharpness okay get underscore sharpness this is exactly what we saw saw down here okay so get sharpness that's how we are going to use it again let's start from scratch here uh, if you're not looking at any of this documentation go ahead and install pip install this and then from dom import uppercase dom and obviously you're going to import your cv2 to read all the images now i'm reading four different images one is uh, a original image and then the other three where we added uh, some blurring gaussian blurring this is two sigma blurred this is three sigma and this is five sigma blurred okay so we can quantify uh, we can quantify the sharpness and uh, down here i'm initializing dom and now I can apply this IQA or image quality assessment or whatever you want to call this variable. And I'm going to apply that from that get sharpness on image one, two, three, four. And I'm just printing these values. That's pretty much it. Very easy, straightforward. Okay. Thanks to the work did by others. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so you can see that the sharpness for my reference image or the image where I didn't do any blurring, it was 1.13. Now, what makes a good sharpness value? Uh, you can look at the paper and see if it makes sense to you. But to me, I it's it's in a way you kind of need a reference image, uh, you know, offline saying that, okay, this is my reference image where I'm going to say the sharpness value is good. And then... Uh, any other image compare it against that sharpness value so in this case this is 1.1 and as you can see two sigma blurred already the sharpness value went down and then down and then further down so i think this actually works very well and compare this against the brisk that i covered uh, in my video number 114 i believe and then see which one works for you I hope you found this tutorial to be useful and again as usual I request you to please subscribe to my channel keeps me very encouraged to see a lot of subscriptions so I look for new topics to uh, to help you guys out thank you very much